What is static allocation of memory? Have a look at this code. 10 numbers are being allocated here. The compiler is being asked to allocate memory for exactly 10 units. The exact number of units is known as 10 at the design time. Such an allocation is called static allocation. An allocation is static allocation if the number of units is exactly known at the design time. This is an allocation of one int number. It is again a static allocation because the quantity is known at design time. Let us study what happens when you double click to start your program. The operating system copies your machine code to a certain area of RAM memory. As you can see, the OS has laid an additional amount of vacant memory as well. This memory is called the stack memory. The stack memory is the place where these variables live and die. Let us walk along this program. When the execution reaches at this statement, 10 units are pushed to the stack. At this point, the variable B is also pushed to the stack. How many units are on the stack at this point? They are 11 units of int numbers. During compilation, the compiler keeps a track of this figure. At the end it makes a record of peak demand of 11 units and writes this information into your program. It is on this basis that the OS allocates the units of stack memory to your program. Let us come back to the program that we were walking along. And when the execution reaches here the variable B is popped off and deleted. Finally, when the main exits, the array of 10 is also popped off. Notice that the compiler is in full control of the lifetime of a stack variable. Now we summarize the whole concept. First of all, the stack memory is a memory whose quantity is known at the design time. Secondly, the compiler is responsible for creating and destroying the stack variables. It creates a variable on entering the block and pops it off on exit. Last, the stack variables exist only within the scope or brackets within which they are created. Thank you.